Welcome to Blue Compass, where we are taking a look at ChatGPT versus Google. Now, ChatGPT is a fascinating new technology. It is AI-powered chat question and answer service. And some people have been asking, is this a Google killer? Is ChatGPT going to replace Google? Now, first of all, ChatGPT is absolutely amazing. You could ask it a question and it'll give you an answer almost instantaneously but it definitely delivers different types of results than Google does. So for instance, if we go to ChatGPT and we type in what's the fastest way to get from New York to LA, right away it gives us a pretty simple and quick and exact answer. Now, if you ask the same question on Google, Google will also give you a fast answer, but you can see there's a lot more options. It's more complex, there's more points of view here, you can see that it gives the options for how long it would take in a car, 41 hours, even how long it would take to walk from New York to LA, only 911 hours. And of course you can scroll down and see more options and more results. ChatGPT gives a nice, concise, quick answer. That's the advantage of it. You don't have to scroll through results. You don't have to try to determine what's best. I think another great example of this is if you search for a recipe on ChatGPT, right away you simply get the answer. Whereas a lot of us have probably Googled a recipe before and you can get a lot of content. You have to scroll down quite a bit to find the actual ingredients. It's a more time intensive process. Chat GPT has great advantages when it comes to quick and easy answers. But on the other hand, Google offers you more freedom. There's more diversity in opinion. You have a lot more options. It's more visual clearly. Now, Google definitely has its biases, and there's been a lot of critiques and claims that Google hides certain contents from certain points of view, but ChatGPT clearly does as well. There's a case recently where ChatGPT was asked to write a positive poem about a certain political candidate, and ChatGPT's response was that it's not in my capacity to have opinions or feelings about any one person. But then ChatGPT was asked to write a positive poem about that candidate's opponent and it did so without any issues. So clearly there's a lot of bias in ChatGPT. Some of the answers are just simply false that it gives. Whereas at least with Google, you can have a little bit more opportunity and freedom to find different points of view and different data sets. Another disadvantage is that ChatGPT only draws content through 2021 currently. Its data set is more limited from Google that draws from the entire web. ChatGPT initially only draws content from about 570 gigabytes of data. So those are simply some differences in Google and ChatGPT. Clearly ChatGPT is not going to kill Google, at least not yet and probably never. Google is more interested in having more AI responses and chats similar to ChatGPT. It already has the technology and it's working on that. And ChatGPT will probably become more like Google in the future. It'll start showing images. It will have perhaps some options you can look at instead of just one point of view. So both of these tools will continue to grow and get better, but both of them are fantastic options for any user. I hope that was helpful for you. Thanks and we'll talk to you next time.